Hello everyone, this is Fahad al -Khurek. I'm a senior dental student at VCU School of Dentistry. Uh, this video is an educational video made for the uh, IDEA Fellowship with the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Okay guys, so we've got our oral cavity model here. Uh, it has some um, sockets, extraction sockets, um, uh, big flaps here. And we have our kit over here with all the instruments you need. So we have the Addison's tissue forceps with the teeth. We have uh, our hemostat. We have our uh, blade holder. We have our scissors. And we have our needle holder. Also, we have in the kit um, these uh, suturing material, and you have some blades if you wanted to make your own cuts. And this is a nice little kit you could practice uh, on your own at home. I used to practice a lot in my sophomore year, uh, especially when I was transitioning to clinic. I was very helpful. So I highly recommend that. So the best way to hold the needle is uh, two thirds the way from the tip. So not at the end and not at the tip. Okay, so two thirds the way from the tip. The correct way to hold the needle holder is uh, your thumb in one ring and your ring finger in the other ring. Not your index and not your middle finger. Your index should go straight to help maneuver and direct your needle. The, the middle finger should help secure the grasp. Okay. Also, another technique you could do is by uh, palming the needle holder like that. It gives you more freedom of uh, rotation and movement. So today we're gonna to start with the most basic uh, suturing technique, which is the routine simple interrupt suturing. Usually you wanna start from the buckle and go towards the palatal or lingual, uh, so the knot ends up in the buckle. And that's very useful to avoid the displacement of the knot by the tongue, okay? So I'm gonna use my tissue holder to hold uh, the tissue, and then you would wanna enter at 90 degrees uh, through the tissue and then you, you want to assess how deep you want to go and then you would rotate like that You could uh, either do one bite or you could do two bites at the time. I just did one bite right now And then you'd want to pull all the way and have a short end About an inch maybe Okay, and then again, you would want to hold it the same way so you'd want to go uh, again at almost 90 degrees to the incision or flap. I would hold the soft tissue with the tissue forceps to hold it still. And ideally you'd want to make it symmetrical to the other side. So if you enter 1.5 to 2 from the incision, you would want to mimic that on the other side. So I would hold this to not lose it and uh, have it about an inch. And then I would try to keep the needle in my hand so I don't lose it and it uh, doesn't hurt anyone. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an easy um, tip. Always do your loops toward the short end and then uh, tighten the, the, the knot on the other side, to the opposite side, okay? So we're gonna start with a two loop. You, you need to have uh, enough distance, so about two palms, okay? And then you do your first loop, second loop, then open. And you want to grasp the tip of the short tail, okay? And then as I said, you would uh, tighten it in the opposite direction. And then you do one loop toward the short tail, grasp the tip of the tail, and then you're gonna tighten it in the opposite direction. And then another loop last loop and there you go we have we use our scissors and remember you do want to position it more towards the buckle and cut it two to three millimeters that's it there you have it all right, so our second technique for today, we are going to do the figure of eight. This technique is very useful in case of gel foam 
and socket preservation and if you have uh, some medicinal material you want to keep for a dry socket so as we discussed earlier guys you'd always want to go around 90 degrees to the incision and 1.5 to 2 millimeters away and always assess how deep you want to go so I'm gonna grab my tissue like that and then I want to rotate like my uh, arm like this do not push it just rotate it it's gonna do uh, its job then I'm gonna take it all the way so and I have a tip for you, a trick. Instead of pulling all the way like this, you may hit someone. You could just place an instrument like that and then just pull it like that, okay? But be careful, don't lose your short tail. And we'll always leave it at about an inch. We're gonna go and do the same thing. Do another bite through the palatal. Always go around 90 degrees and 1.5 to 2 millimeters from the incision. And I'm gonna do this trick again. All right, don't lose your short tail. And always remember guys, you wanna start on the buckle whenever you can, so the knot ends up in the buckle and don't get displaced by the tongue, okay? All right, so we started on the buckle, did the palatal. We are going to go again on the buckle from the place we started. You go bite again through the same place you started. And then I'm gonna do the rotation movement. Don't push it, it's gonna do its, uh, its job. All right. You don't wanna grasp the needle with the tissue forceps because it's not designed for that. Okay, have enough room. Okay, and this is called figure of eight because as you will see, you'll have a kinda figure eight shape. Do the same principles. Hold the tissue like that. Okay, and now uh, just like what we did for the simple interrupted, that we're gonna do two loops with the short end, and then go and grab it, and then pull across, just like that, and then you go do a single loop toward the short end, and pull across, okay, and then you do one last loop toward the short end, and then you're gonna pull across, and then there you have it. Just um, we'll cut it. And there you have it. That's why it's called um, figure eight because it's kind of looks like an eight. Okay, so lastly, we're gonna do continuous line interlocking suture. This suture is very useful for if you have uh, large flaps and it's very quick and easy. In future videos, I may do continuous interlocking and horizontal mattress and vertical mattress. All right, so you wanna start with your su uh, simple interrupted suture. Very easy, we've done it before, right? And then you hold it like that, do this trick. Get it all the way, you have your short tail. Don't lose it. All right, you wanna go to the lingual palatal. Just like what we did, just do your simple interrupted. Okay. Two loops toward the short tail. Pull across. One loop toward the short tail. Pull across. And then one loop toward the short tail. And then pull across. All right. Perfect. So now, instead of cutting both ends, you'd want to cut only the short end, okay? This is the short end, cut it, perfect, you're good. All right, next, you'd wanna kinda run the suture through the flap, okay? You're gonna decide what I mean. So, you wanna start on the buckle. I like to go on an angle, I think it looks nicer. Get, get your bite, okay, there you go. Perfect. And then the equal distance, we want to go on the lingual or palatal, equal distance, make it symmetrical. The same thing. So if you entered here, you want to go here, exactly the same on the lingual or palatal. Perfect. 
perfect. Okay, so now also you want to go equal distance on the buckle, so from here to here. Okay, so I did not go very far, so I'm not going to go very far on the next one, just to keep it nice and symmetrical, okay? Perfect. And next you go through the buckle. I'm not gonna do the entire thing, I'm just gonna do a couple more just to show you equal distances so I did not go very far. I'm not gonna go too far. Go like that. Perfect. Now towards the lingual. Good. Okay, one more towards the buckle. Take my tissue. Forceps and go like that. Awesome. All right. Go through the lingual one more time. So now, if I want to close it, okay. I would go through the buckle one more last time, okay? Exactly the same way you did on the other ones, equal distances. Go like that. Pull. And now, instead of pulling through all the way, I would leave uh, this loop and I would use it as a short tail, okay? Just like uh, your short tail. You do two loops toward the short tail. So this is my short tail. Take it and pull it all the way. Awesome. And then you do one. And then you do one the other side. Sorry, it kind of got stuck. Awesome. Yep, that's it. Just cut it. 